Every year in the United States, millions of people experience bleeding from an injury at home, in the workplace, or while participating in sports or other recreational activities. Here are some immediate steps you can take if someone close to you is bleeding from an injury. First, make sure it is safe for you to help the injured person. Move the person to safety if you can. Wear gloves and eye protection if they are available to help prevent the spread of HIV and other bloodborne infections. Call 911 if the bleeding appears severe, is spurting from the wound, is from a wound to the neck, the chest, or the abdomen, or does not stop after 10 minutes of direct pressure. Try to stop or control the bleeding until help arrives. Apply steady, direct pressure to the bleeding site with a clean cloth, gauze, or tissue until the bleeding stops. Don't remove the cloth, even if the blood soaks through. If it does soak through, wrap or compress with more bandages and keep the constant direct pressure. For arm and leg wounds, consider applying a tourniquet above the bleeding if it is severe and doesn't stop with direct pressure. Only use a tourniquet if you've been trained to use one correctly. Use only commercially available first aid tourniquets. Do not use improvised tourniquets like handkerchiefs, belts, rope, etc. Only use a tourniquet for severe wounds to limbs to prevent severe blood loss. If you can stop the bleeding at home, gently clean the wound using soap and water. Apply antibiotic ointment to reduce the risk of infection and cover with a sterile bandage. Don't use alcohol, iodine, or hydrogen peroxide to clean the wound. They can damage tissue. Accidents happen and emergency responders can take time to arrive. Follow these steps and you'll be doing the best you can to stabilize the situation while you wait for help. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Reagan Marsh. For more emergency care videos, click here and don't forget to subscribe here.